How to add an end screen to your YouTube video in less than two minutes. Now there's one thing you have to do before you actually add an end screen to the end of your video and it's having five to ten seconds of you speaking so people have the time to click on the video while you're talking about it. Now when you have the video uploaded you just go to your channel and under content and here you click on the video you want to add this end screen to. You click on details here and you fill out all the details and then you click on next and under video elements there's this button add an end screen you click on add and now you're in the end screen editor now you can pick any templates or you can build your own let's say we pick the first template we pick it now once you have the template selected you can select either element here or you can add new ones up here under the element button. You can add a video, you can add a playlist or you can also link to another channel. Now if you want to add a playlist we just click on playlist, select one of them and now it's in. Now every element can also be resized like this or moved around like this. The elements cannot overlap, if they overlap YouTube's gonna put this warning above it and it will let you save it. If you want to edit an element you just click on this button and you pick a different playlist and if you want to delete it you press delete on your keyboard or you just press delete here. Now for linking to videos you have three different settings. First one is linking to your most recent upload which just links to the last video you uploaded the second one is best for viewer. In this one YouTube actually picks a video from your channel that the viewer would be most likely to watch. And the last one is manual video. So here you actually select the video you want the viewer to go to. You select it, you put it in. Now the last thing you have to do before you save the edits is actually sync the elements to the point where you tell people to click. So for example in this video I tell them to click right here and I'm gonna sync both elements so they appear right at the time I tell them to click. When you're done with syncing and you have all the elements where you want it to be, you just click save and the changes will get saved. Now if you want to add an element to an already existing video, you just go to the existing video that's already uploaded, you go down here and here you have the end screen button, you click on it and the process is similar to the last one. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to grow on YouTube you can subscribe down here or watch our next video here. See you in the next video.